Welcome to Two Minutes of Torah with Congregation Shir HaMalot. We're really glad you're here today. For today is a special day in the Jewish calendar known as Yom HaShoah, which is Holocaust Memorial Day. Many of our holidays are about remembrance. The question is why? Why do we focus so much in the Jewish faith on memory? Because we know the memorial is not just about the past, but remembering helps us determine the future. Yad Vashem, which is the Holocaust Memorial Museum in Jerusalem, has the largest database of names of those who either survived the Holocaust or died in the Holocaust. And more than 15 years ago, they started a project called the Names Project. Because at that time, we only knew 3 million of the 6 million names of the people who had perished. And so we were in a mad dash to find the other 3 million names. And there were many, many survivors at that time, less so now. And so we called every survivor we knew. We knocked on every door to ask about people that they knew who died and or survived the Holocaust. And when we found their names, we typed it into the database. And then the name would either come up and we know they, they would be remembered, or uh, we added their name to the database. And this is a hugely important project, and it still continues to this day. And I'm proud to tell you that our congregation was one of the first congregations in the United States to do this project. And over the course of 15 years, we have found hundreds of names that would have otherwise been lost to history, that would have otherwise been lost to history. I'm proud to tell you also that worldwide, we have found 1,250,000 more names. So that's four and a quarter million names. Now, will we ever get to the six million? Probably not but we've remembered a lot of people who would have otherwise been forgotten. And there are other amazing stories as well. There's the story of two sisters who went into the database to enter each other's names because they thought they had perished. When they saw their witness testimony come up, they realized they only lived 10 miles from each other and hadn't seen each other in more than 50 years. Or, more, or closer to home, when we started this project, Cantor Schickler went in to research whether his uncle had been remembered. And sure enough, a page of testimony in his mother's handwriting came up and his uncle had been remembered and he also got to see his mother's testimony. We at our synagogue have a memorial upstairs that I would invite you when we're back in temple to go see and pay tribute to those names. What can we do? We can continue to look for names, to ask people we know who survived the Holocaust if they know people, and do our very best to try and reclaim history so that people are not forgotten. For memorial is not about the past, but remembering helps us determine our future. The Holocaust is the most painful period in our faith's history, and yet, Hand to hand, shoulder to shoulder, we stand to remember those lost so that we can live a bright future, eradicate hate to the very best of our ability, and at the very same time, lift up those souls that made us who we are today. Friends, uh, you'll be able to find the webpage right there in our conversation and also posted on our webpage. There's also an article posted from 2005 about the project that I explained. So I hope and wish you a meaningful Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Memorial Day, because memorial is not just about the past. It helps us determine the future. Shalom.